Wolves. Most people are afraid of wolves, but they shouldn't be. They're the most beautiful animals, loyal. They mate for life, doing anything for the survival of their pack, their family. So that's what I was thinking of for the Winter Carnival. Um, there'd be a big halo of ice around your throne, trees in the background, wolves at your feet. I was even thinking we can get some artificial snow falling down. No. No snow. Why not? Why not? Because I have to sit there with a hundred dollar haircut and a five hundred dollar gown. And I, I don't want styrofoam flakes falling on me. You're supposed to be the artistic one. If you can't do it. No. I can do it. Good. My gown is blue. I'll give you a swatch and make sure everything matches. Now, there's a cry for help if I ever saw one. <laughs> Rebecca, I have a good idea for you. Yeah, what? When you're up there doing your little ice cream number, give us your best Princess Dicely. Bitch, don't ever diss the Princess of Wales. Ugh. You're such a freak. Sketch Cottrell drew with dogs all around me. Wolves. Whatever. <laughs> if I wanted canines at my feet, I would have made her part of my court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don. Don. Great chicken, honey. It's very tender. It should be. For the price I pay. Well, whatever it costs, it's great. I'm on the Winter Carnival Committee. You are? They pick me to design the whole thing. <laughs> That's great, Dawn. I'm thinking about a snow princess thing. When we did ours, we did Hans Christian Andersen, Silver Skates. I went with Joe Burris. I was supposed to go with Bobby Campbell, but he was too shy to even ask me. Before I forget, I gotta work this weekend. Every weekend? Doesn't your boss know you have a family? He knows. I'm just not sure he cares. <laughs> That's why I want you guys to get a good education. So you don't get jerked around. You have a good education. And you get jerked around. Alex, you didn't excuse yourself. <laughs> I never do. It's delicious. Thank you. No pie? I have some paperwork. You always have paperwork. Honey. Mom, I'll help with the dishes. You know your art teacher? Mm -hmm. Does she tell you what you have to draw? Depends. Sometimes she lets us do what we want. You know, you've been promising to do my portrait. You and Dad together. I just gotta get you both to sit still for three hours. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be hard for him if you put a football game on. Mom? I'm seeing this boy. Really? You have a boyfriend? Yes, really. Is that such a surprise? No. So what's the story? What's his name? Craig. He's 19. How long have you been seeing him? A few weeks now. Oh, Dawn. I hope you'll be careful. Mom. Oh, don't act so shocked. I know about kids today, 12 and 14 years old, and they're out there experimenting. That's not what I'm interested in. Oh, well, it's damn sure what he's interested in. A 19-year-old boy is a walking erection. He's sensitive. He's a musician. 
<laughs> a musician. <laughs> and he's not after sex. <laughs> That's good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Don. Sex is important. Take your father and me. I mean, we got married for all the right reasons. A home, kids. The sex was, mm, but I figured it would get better. And after 20 years, when it doesn't, and you make love once a month, maybe. Mom? Dawn, I'm trying to be open with you. Anything you want to talk about, I'll listen. You know how it was with my mother. To her, communicating meant slapping my face. Now, I hope that's not the kind of mother you want. But if you get pregnant, who are you going to turn to? Your father? No, I don't think so. It'll be me, just like everything else around here. Anybody know you're here? Anybody see you coming? No, I don't think so. It. Just because, you know, people like to talk, ruin a good thing by yapping about it. Me, personally, I like to keep it inside, save it for my music. Like it's just our little secret. <laughs> exactly. In a song? I'm always writing songs. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll write a song about you. It's cold. I want to leave it on. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll make you warm. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just not ready for this. Hey. No means no. Wait. There are other things we can do. Oh, yeah? Like what? Dad, can I see you a minute? Um, yeah. <laughs> Come on in. What's up? I've got this math test on logarithms. Can't figure these things out. Logarithms, huh? Well, you know what? These things look scarier than they really are. Mr. Warner only puts two questions on the test. Miss one and you fail. Really? Well, we can't have that. You gotta get that college scholarship. I can't afford to send you. So, let's have a look. Dad? Hmm. When you're with a boy, what if he doesn't say much? Not much of a talker, I guess. Some guys aren't. You don't think it means... Look, you know what? Logarithms. <laughs> it's just easier if you sit down and... <laughs> plow right through them. It's okay. I got it. Hey. Hey, see that test make me proud.
I'll help you with that. No, it's okay. No, I'll do it. Listen, you can't carry all of that. Come on. You're not embarrassed to be seen with your mother, are you? This brings back memories. Waiting around for classes to start. Standing around gossiping, flirting with boys. The place even smells the same. I'm oh, sorry, Dawn. Mom, I've got to get these to the art room. Oh, I'll take them. It's OK. I, I, uh, you go hang out with your friends. No, it's OK. You don't think I know where the art room is? Well, I've got this special project I'm working That's on. That's great, sweetheart. But socializing is a part of school, too. I know, but... Dawn, go on. This is the fun part of school. I'll go with you. Come on. It's OK. I'll go. Good girl. Um, excuse me, Rebecca. I have some new ideas for the carnival. Not now. I'm talking to people. Anyways. Yeah, so I was like super in your audience. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? I said later. Who is it? Your mom? Oh. I get it. You want her to think you're popular. Well, all right. Showtime, guys. Hi, Mrs. Cottrell. We're such good friends with your daughter. We just can't wait to see her every morning. She gives us beauty tips and fashion advice. We just can't wait to hear about the boy she's dating. <laughs> you? Oh, it's big time. This carnival better be perfect. Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> something to level yourself out, but this is extreme. It was just a blister. I was trying to lance it. Yeah, right. I've heard about this kind of thing. Let me see it. Come on, I'm not going to tell anybody. Come on. Doesn't that hurt? Only when I want it to. Ooh, freaky. <laughs> Who knew you had it in you? Hey, you want to hit it before I put it out? You won't tell anybody. Who am I going to tell in this hole? Nobody listens to me. And as far as I can tell, nobody gives a damn about you. You have exactly one hour and 15 minutes to demonstrate your mathematical prowess. Remember, this exam is worth 50% of your final grade. Dawn, what's this?
You're saying that she cut her own arm on purpose? That's crazy. We've been getting reports on this from other schools. It's like the new version of anorexia. High-strung kids, trouble kids. Kids with screwed up parents. We're not making any judgments here. We are just concerned about Dawn. We want to make sure she doesn't harm herself. She told the nurse it was an ice skating accident. Have you seen the cuts? Take her home, look at them, you'll see what I mean. We've had our official sit down. The problem's in your hands now. Have a talk with Dawn. If you want us to help you arrange for a counselor, we will. But if this happens again on school grounds, we'll have to take action. Okay. Come on, Russell. Thank you. When she applies for college, will this be on our record? That principal's blaming this on us. Joyce, she didn't say that. Not in so many words, but you know that's what she's thinking. Dawn's cutting her own arm. God knows what she thinks we're doing to her. She said she'd keep it confidential. And she's not even gonna tell any of the other teachers. She also said there were other girls doing it. So it's not like she's the only one. Okay, let's see this thing. Mom, they just put the bandages on. And you can put them right back. I got tangled up with another skater. She nicked me with her blades. In nice little neat rows like that? Some scabbed over, some fresh? Man, it's like some animal clodder. Dad. Yeah, Alex, why aren't you going over to Frankie's, huh? <laughs> what, I miss all the fun? Alex, please. I don't understand, Don. What is it that would make you do something like that to yourself? I don't know. You don't know? No. You mutilate your own arm and you have no idea why you do it? You're her father. Don't you have something to say? This is a terrible thing that you're doing to yourself, Dawn. Now, I want you to promise us that you'll stop. Oh, that ought to put a halt to it. You know what? Let's you and me go out together, okay? This one's nice. I've always thought you should wear more lavender. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. I just don't know if it works for me. Well, how about white? Oh, it's nice. <laughs> uh, but you don't like turtlenecks. Oh, this is pretty. I might have to try this one on myself. Here, you try it on. Dawn, help me understand why you're doing this to yourself. Is it school? Is it that boy you're seeing? Your hormones jumping around? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Is it me? Something I'm doing? Is it? You're saying it's me? No, Mom, I didn't say that. You're blaming this on me? No. And what exactly is it that I've done that's so terrible? Nothing. I treat you like my best friend. I take you everywhere. You know what my mother did to me? Ten years old. All the cooking and cleaning, taking care of my brother. That was my job while she laid upstairs, curtains drawn, covers over her head. Mom, people are looking. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I embarrassing you? Try being called to the principal's office because your daughter is sawing on her own arm. 
I've had enough craziness in my life from my own mother. I will not have it in my life again. I won't. This is good. Yeah. I'm telling you, this thing she's doing scares the hell out of me. Maybe, maybe she's just too sensitive. Don't make excuses. Excuses? This is not some teenager telling lies or staying out past curfew. She's slashing her own skin. What if she hits a vein? Maybe we should get her into therapy. No. I know her better than anybody. And I could barely get two words out of her. I am not sending her off to some stranger. What do we even know about that sort of thing? I know our daughter. How long is it going to take some shrink to get inside of her head? Meanwhile, she keeps slicing. We don't have that kind of time. So what are you going to do? What am I going to do? She's our daughter. Yeah, but you're the one she's closest to. It didn't used to be that way. It seems every problem we have falls right in my lap. I'm bringing in a paycheck. Tom Nadell does the same work, and he has enough time for Leslie and their children. Well, Tom Nadell is happy where he is. I'm trying to get ahead. Oh, which is why you spend every spare second you have in your den playing with glass. Helps me think. Yeah? Well, you better start thinking about how you're going to help me deal with this. That's the point of being married, isn't it? So you don't have to do it all alone. What? what? What is it with you? you? You suck my lungs out and then you won't even let me touch you. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. What is, what is this? Are you in your period? I scraped my thigh. You scraped your thigh? You want to do this or not? Yeah, I, I do. I just, yeah. Thinking of jumping? Hey, you got this look on your face. What? Are you in trouble or something? Huh? <laughs> oh, no. I, I was just out with this guy last night. <gasps> A guy? Hmm? Crank or something? Oh, I remember him. He dropped out of school to do his music. <laughs> Thinks he's gonna be the next Lenny Kravitz. He's pretty good, you ought to hear his stuff. Anyway, you were out with this guy last night and... And? You know. What, you skipped rope, lifted weights? No, we... Ah, say it. Come on, just say it. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> First time? Uh. So, how'd it feel? Hurt a little? Kind of bloody? Come on, you used to that? Thanks. That's part of my charm. That's why you got this big crowd of friends all around you. Ouch! <laughs> so, now that you're a woman, you think it'll make you stop? Why would that make me stop? Hey, I gotta go see my shrink. Walk with me. You see a shrink? Uh-huh. Ever since my old man pulled that rope trick in the backyard. <laughs> Most of these psycho doctors, they're just Looney Tunes. Like, working with all these schizos is rubbed off on them. But Pearl isn't like that. I think you'd like her. Me? See a therapist? <laughs> you don't think you're a candidate? Yeah. My mom would have a heart attack. Who says she has to know? Dr. Pearl is very discreet. Aren't you, Doc? 
Hello, Ray. Hi. This is uh, Dawn, the girl I told you about. Hi, Dawn. You told her? What? I get bored talking about my own problems. It's good to meet you, Dawn. You coming upstairs? Actually, since she's here, I thought maybe she could have my session. No, 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 that's not the way it works. If Dawn wants to speak to me, she's going to have to give me a call on her own. You know that. Dawn, Dawn, you know Lorraine is very concerned about you. She thinks what you're doing is a slow version of killing yourself. She doesn't understand about cutting and how good it feels to be in charge of your own pain. Of course, the best thing would be to get rid of the pain altogether. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll give you my card. If you ever feel like talking, you just give me a call. Okay? See you upstairs. Okay. Hey. You're not gonna slice yourself up over this, are you? Come on. See, seeing her, I thought it might help you stop. Who says I want to stop? Well, you can't just keep carving yourself up. All that dope you smoke. How would you feel if someone tried to take it away from you? Okay, I got you. I understand. I gotta go up. If you want, maybe we can hang out again. I'll try not to be such a spaz next time, okay? Never tried to take my dope from me. Time, huh? Oh, they're pretty complicated. Well, it's good to see you getting involved, making new friends. Yeah. Mom, where are all the knives? I put them away. Come on back to the table. You didn't think I noticed that little cut on your side last night. You don't seem able to control yourself, so until you do... Joyce, I don't think she's going to cut herself at the dinner table. You want to handle this? So how am I supposed to eat? I'll cut it for you. Feed it the dog. Alex, we don't have a dog. Yeah, we do. Alex, that is enough. He's young. He doesn't understand this.
Good night, Andrea. See you tomorrow. Good night, Dr. Perella. Jacket off, huh? No. All right, listen. If I could see what I was doing, I could make you feel a lot better. I like it this way. What are you talking about? Whoa, what is what is that? What the hell is that? Nothing. What, did you scrape yourself again? It's the same as before. No, 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 it's not. Don't! Somebody doing this to you or what? It's none of your damn business, all right? Are you giving me attitude? You don't have to look. You don't have to comment. All right, come on. What are you doing? If I didn't take this from a girl, it's gonna be one that's a whole lot prettier, a whole lot less psycho than you are. The down button means down. Craig! He's not gonna tell anybody. What scares me the most, what if he talks to his friends? Seriously, I wouldn't worry. You know how guys are, they, they love to talk. Your secrets. And all it takes is one person. He's not gonna tell. One person and it's all over school. He's not gonna tell. He's not gonna tell because he doesn't want anybody to know he's screwing you. This whole boyfriend fantasy that you have? He sneaks you into his place to get his rocks off. And you're all moony about my secret love. He was ashamed to be seen with you. Girls like you, you don't even know when you're being dumped on. I thought we were friends. I'm not anybody's friend. That was another one of your little fantasies. Wake the hell up. Coming right up. Hello. Hi. You're Lorraine's friend. Yeah. Small world, huh? You like Jerry's coffee, too. Mm-hmm. Can I buy you a cup? Cappuccino, mocha? No, thanks. No school today? Yeah, sort of. Look. I know you came to see me the other night. What are you talking about? You had the urge to cut, but you tried to see me instead. Dawn, I have the feeling there are things you want to talk about, and I might be able to help you with them. But not here. Why don't you come up to my office? Wait. Right now. I have an opening. Come on. Nothing scary is gonna happen to you up there. All we're gonna do is talk, okay? I've gotta go.
That's ridiculous. Lots of people like you. <laughs> your teachers like you. Your family likes you. Your mother loves you. I love you. You do? Of course, how can you, how can you even ask that? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Better? Look, high school's hard on a lot of people. Now college, that's where a girl like you really blossom. A girl like me? Yeah, a girl like you, smart, hardworking. Everything's gonna be better in a few years. All right? Okay. Good night. Good night, Daddy. How was bridge night? Marge Harris was bragging about Monique. She made National Honor Society. Elaine Cook kept talking about Jamie. The coaches making him first team point guard. Then, of course, they asked me how Don was doing. Part of me just wanted to blurt it out and tell someone so I would have somebody to talk to about it. They made Jamie first string point guard? Didn't think he was that good. Where is she? She was just there. Don? Are you sure she didn't leave? I was just talking to her. She was right here. Is she not in her room? No. Dawn? Dawn! Check there already. Dawn? Dawn!
Yes. Good. It's supposed to. So, you did this to yourself? The burns, those cuts on your arms and legs? It's okay. I need to ask for the records. Dr. Hartman? Yes. The nurse will be here in a minute to bandage you up. I'm gonna go have a word with your parents. You're gonna need plastic surgery on those burns. Otherwise, the scars will be there forever. I don't mind. This is the first time I'm hearing about the cuts on the leg. What am I supposed to do? Examine every inch of her? And the burns? Is she doing this? Well, there's a variety of reasons. In some cases, it has its source in either physical abuse... What? ...or sexual molestation. Oh. Well, don't look at me. I have never laid a finger on that kid, not in anger or any other inappropriate way. I think we'll all feel better if we have a professional evaluation of your daughter. You can use our staff psychiatrist or uh, one of your own choosing. They're blaming this on us, you know. They think we're beating you or God knows what. I didn't tell them that. Well, you know what? The doctor thinks you should see a therapist. And you're going, young lady. And when you go, I want you to make it clear I never touched you. Dr. Perella. What? I want to see Dr. Perella. Who is Dr. Perella? I'm having some tea. You want some? Juice? Water? Everything I say here is private, right? That's right. You can't even tell my parents. That's like a state law or something. Nothing you say is going to leave this room. Because I'm telling you right now. I'm not stopping and don't think you can make me. Oh, I can't make you do anything. Dawn, I know how precious your cutting is to you. And I know you need it to help you cope with whatever it is you're going through. Right now, what I have to offer you is going to take some time. Yeah, what's that? Words. Language. We have to teach you how to speak. I know how to speak. You know how to talk. But you don't know how to express what's inside of you. You do your talking on your skin. Hey, look. These are some photos that we're taking of you at the hospital. These here. On your thigh. Long, jagged. My guess is that you were really angry that day. Out of control. Now, this on the other leg, I don't think you were that mad. Just kind of irritated. You didn't start a new cut, just picked away at the old one. Now, these. And how'd you get to be such an expert? I do a lot of work with kids who have anorexia. I don't have that. No, you don't. But a long time ago, I noticed that a lot of them had scars on their bodies. Cuts, burns. They do? Yes. A lot of people cut themselves. Girls your age, I'd say maybe one out of every 200. So you're not alone. Well, any of them ever do this? Hmm. When did you do that? I don't know. A few days ago. Do you remember why? What triggered it? What difference does it make? You know, there are a lot of blood vessels under there. That could cause a lot of bleeding. So, arm, leg, breast. It's my body and I'll cut where I want. Alex, time for bed. Uh, it's only 9.30. And your bedtime's 9 o'clock. All of a sudden, because of her, you guys are acting weird. Alex, don't start. It's like this whole house is some kind of disease. Alex. Alex, I said that's enough. I'm tired, okay? I'm going to bed. Okay, sweetheart. Go on up. I'll be right there. Good night, Dad. 
Wait, honey. Alex. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's do this. It's nice. How was your first session with Dr. Perella? Okay, I guess. Did she say anything about what's going on with you? Well, it was just the first session. Did she say how long it will take before you're cured? Not exactly. A while. This is an old one, right? Yeah. It's awful. Well, I can't sleep. I can't eat. Look at me, I'm a mess. I'm sorry, Mom. I love you, Dawn. Anything you want, you know, you just have to ask. You, you know that, right, sweetheart? What's this? <sighs> if you keep this up, I see no choice but to put you somewhere where they can take care of problems like this. Is that what you want? <sighs> Anybody I've ever stood up to, Anybody I've ever told what I felt, they left me. Yeah? Like who? Craig. That guy I was seeing. From what you told me, he wasn't there for you from the beginning. Just the sex. Lorraine, that time she blew up at me. She got mad. She'll apologize. You'll see. But my mom, if I ever told her how I really felt. So what do you think? Is she a good mom? Yeah, I, I think so. She tries. What does that mean? She does a lot with me. Takes me places, buys me things. But something is missing? Come on, what's missing? When she talks to me, it's not like she's talking to me. It's like she's talking to herself. I'd like her, I'd like her to know me, to talk to me. And what's it going to take for her to be able to do that? For her to understand who you are? I don't know. Don't hide behind that. You know. What's it going to take? To tell her how I feel. Right. You have to let her inside your world. You have to give her that chance. What if it just makes it worse? I know. It's scary. But I have to tell you, when you're heading with this cutting of yours, holding things in and then bleeding them out, that's a whole lot scarier. Done. Family photos. Some pictures I wanted you to see from Beaker Street. I've never seen these before. I know. Okay, I know this is you. Who is this other girl? That was my sister. Your sister? Teresa. She died when she was five years old. What happened to her? We were playing on the front porch. My mother had put us there so she could take one of her naps. We started chasing each other around, and Teresa saw something across the street, and she ran, and I saw the car hit her, and I saw how it rolled her, and I pulled her underneath. Mom. You know what I fear now? Any day, you're going to Cut yourself in the wrong place. Cut too deep. <laughs> and I'll get blamed. I can't let that happen. Not again. Yeah. 
told Perella how I went off on you. Yeah, your point. I freaked out, okay? Anyway, I remember you saying how much you like to skate, so I thought maybe you could teach me. set to your building. It's gonna take a team of engineers to work on them. It shouldn't be that hard. You got the labor lined up? Not yet. Well, I know some guys in shop class that might be willing to put in the hours. Great. <laughs> How'd you get that bruise? This guy my mom's been seeing. He just he smacks her around every now and then. I just got caught in the crossfire. Is that why you went off with me the other night? The stupid bitch is thinking about having a baby with him. So, when you started talking about Craig, it was just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, it just all came out. Back on the blades. Oh, sleep, driver. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, I don't want you to Trust me, trust me. Okay, okay. The ring. Stuff. Yeah, maybe we could put some fangs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if, if you like, uh, my dad's got this styrofoam gun, and when we're all finished, uh, we can spray foam all over the trees and sets. Winter Wonderland. Great. Thanks, Mike. My dad, he's, a, he's got this styrofoam gun, and we can spray foam everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a styrofoam gun, all right. He's got the hots for you. You think? Yeah. <laughs> we got bad hair today or what? I don't know. You know, this is looking really great. It looks really good. Thanks. I love it. Um, what do you think about the color? It's beautiful, Cattrall. Or should I say, cut trail. Jamie Cook says you like to slice and dice on your own skin. That is so beyond weird. So where do you do it? On your arms? On your wrists? Oh, come on, don't be shy. Let me see. I, I really want to say it. Oh. You say so much is another word, and you will know exactly how it feels, princess. Are you going to be all right? I don't think so. Thank <laughs> you. 
killed Jenny's mother? One person. It slipped out. I'm supposed to keep this all bottled up inside? Mom, you knew she'd tell Jamie. Last night, there were two more cuts, Don. You don't care what I think. All you care about is the other kids. I can't control what you do outside of this house. But if your secret's out, maybe peer pressure will stop you. On purpose? You did this on purpose? I told you we're going to put an end to this, whatever it takes. She never looks here. She never looks under my bra or panties. So you're playing hide and seek with your mom? She says if she finds any more, she's gonna send me to a mental hospital. It might help if your mom understood more about your behavior. If she had someone to talk to. She talks to everyone. That's how they found out. Well, I mean to professional. A shrink? Yeah. <laughs> She would never see a shrink. Why not? She doesn't need to. She already knows everything. Well, what about your dad? Does she talk much to him? Do you talk to him? Are you too close? Yeah, close enough, I guess. Does your dad show you a lot of affection? Dawn? Dawn, is there something about you and your dad you need to tell me? Does your dad ever touch you in a way that isn't appropriate? He doesn't touch me at all. Never? It's like he's afraid of me. Well, that must feel awful. Was he ever affectionate with you? Did he ever hug and kiss you? A little when I was a kid. So you must feel like your growing up is a disaster. Here's where she's cutting herself now. You're her father. You need to do something. She's in her room. like you are anyway when you do it to yourself.
You're not the only one in pain. Your mother and I were... You know that. I've been holding on here for you and Alex. Please stop doing this. Come on in. Hi, Mrs. Cottrell. Mr. Cottrell. I'm Jean Perella. Hello. Hi, Dawn. Why don't you take a seat wherever you want? Go on, just make yourself comfortable. I'll be right there. I made some tea if anybody would like any. Thank you. Just help yourselves. I'm really glad you could both be here today. I know it might feel a little uncomfortable sure it does for Dawn, but I think it's going to go a long way toward helping your daughter. So, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourselves, your home life? Me? My family? My family? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it's fine. We live in a beautiful home. Russell has a good job. Both the children do really well in school. And this is really throwing us off. Is that the way you see things, Mr. Cottrell? Well, it's not like we don't have any problems. Russell? Uh, I mean, there are some tensions at home. Every couple has tensions. That doesn't make their children go running after knives. She's talking about real problems. Do you think there are any real problems at home, Mr. Cottrell? Well, I'm sure Dawn's behavior has created some pressures at home. It's got to be very frustrating for both of you. No, frustrating is when the disposal gets jammed. My daughter cutting herself every other night is... Uh, uh, terrifying. Yes, it is. So, uh, how do we get her to stop? Well, unfortunately, there is no one-step, immediate solution to this problem. For starters, I'd like to prescribe some medication. You want to put me on pills? Yes, but they're not going to make you tired or hyper or jittery. They're just going to get rid of some of that static that's been playing around in your head. But eventually, it will get her to quit? No, not by themselves. I want to make this very clear. Cutting is a very complicated and serious problem. We have a lot of work to do. Dawn, I want you to start carrying this whenever you're out. I want you to call me once an hour and let me know where you are. Mom. Wherever it is, you sneak off to cut, you hit a vein, start bleeding, I want to know where you are. It's either that or stay at home. She did that to me. I told her to take that phone and shove it. How many friends do you have? What? Think about it a minute. How many friends have you got? I don't know. Frankie, Ken, guys at school, guys in the team. Lots. You have lots of friends. I have one. Maybe, if she's in a good mood. So? So I've got one friend. And mom and dad. And if they ever split up... They're mad at you, not each other. I don't know what you're talking about. If it gets bad enough, I've got nobody. Well, the way it is now, with all the crap you take, you are nobody. So, cut a trail. What are you gonna do now that you don't have your half dyke bodyguard to look out for you? What are you talking about? Leslie Lorraine. Got tough with the wrong guy. Step between her old lady and her biker stud. Grace Paul beat her to a pulp. She's at St. Joe's. On the tubes. Are you gonna cut yourself over this? You're gonna slice yourself up? Can we watch? There she goes. Get the bandages.
What's wrong? Why aren't you in school? My friend Lorraine's in the hospital. What friend Lorraine? She's in a coma. Her mother's boyfriend beat her up. Beat her up? What kind of friend is this? The only one I've got. Please, Mom, take me to the hospital. Seeing her is only going to upset you. Please, Mom. Mom! I don't think Dr. Prella would think this is a good idea. Mom! Mom! Take me to the hospital! I want to see my friend! When did you start raising your voice like that? I am trying, I am trying to get you to hear me. You don't think I hear you? The past few weeks, my life has been about nothing but you. You're not going to that hospital. In fact, you're not leaving this house. You're staying with me until you calm down. Are you going to make her stop? Alex. Quit it, weirdo. If you can't control yourself, go to your room. Look, if it makes the kid feel better to rock, then just let her rock. She was fidgeting. You were going to send her to her room for fidgeting. I was just trying to get her to take control over herself. Well, she's not you, OK? She's not you. What is that supposed to mean? You tighten the screws. And you tighten the screws. And she's just getting worse. You're putting this on me. That night in the garage, when she was burning her arm, Whose attention do you think she was trying to get? You push me to take a stand. And when I take a stand, <gasps> you jump all over me. Oh, yeah, you really take a stand around here. I don't want you contradicting me in front of the children anymore. Not ever. You got that? So what am I supposed to do? Just stand here and salute? I'm going out. Oh, yeah, do what you do best. Run. You happy now, Psycho? Did you hear him leave? It's because of you. It's all your fault! Next time you slice yourself, I hope you die. Friends, so I brought two. I hope that doesn't bother you in any way. Fine. So listen, Don, you want a beer or something like that? No. Let's just do this. Good idea. Man, why is she all twitchy like that? Because, man, she wants your body. Why do you care? What the hell are those? I told you, she's like a razor freak. Does that bother you? It doesn't bother me. I'm into those nightmare movies. Here comes Freddy. <laughs> Good night, son. Good night. gone. 
What? She's gone. When the boys came back to the apartment, this is how they found her, on the bathroom floor. She's just gonna kill herself. It wasn't a suicide attempt, but she sure is trying to say something to somebody. I want those boys' names. The boys didn't do this, sir. They had sex with her, but... I don't care! I want to rip their guts out! I'm sorry, Mom. Wrap down here, for God's sake. It's just to assure she won't cut herself again. She's not an animal. Mr. Cottrell, you have to leave those in place. I'm sorry. It's for her own good. If you touch these again, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. said that uh, you're going to heal up with just a few marks. So, you scared us. I'm sorry. Get some rest. I'll be back later.
Here, let me get that. Dr. Ryman, Dr. J. Ryman, please report to the nurse's Thanks. station. Dr. Ryman, to the nurse's station, please. I've been thinking about how I can help you. I think the best thing that I can do is go away. What? Your father seems to think I'm the problem. He said that. Yeah. And I think you may feel the same way. And that's how you're going to help me? By leaving? Nothing else seems to work, Don. The harder I try, the worse it gets. And now this. I just can't do another thing for another person without getting help myself. This is what you do. This is what you always do. What? Make it seem like it's about me, but it's not. It's about you. Those 10 hours from the time that you were gone until we got the call from the hospital, that was the worst agony of my life. See? Always about you. Well, if living apart from you is the only way that I can help you, that's what I'm going to do. Just go, damn it! Go! I'll be staying at Cindy's for a while. Leave! Dawn? I wish you'd called me. She's leaving. Who? My mother. I'm so sorry. She told me she didn't know what else to do but leave. So I yelled at her. Told her she should just go ahead and go. For some reason, it doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. Dawn, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Crying is good, Dawn. If you're crying, you're not cutting. You have a good beginning. It's good. I've got some work to do, so uh, I'm gonna go back to the office. I'll be about an hour, all right? You be okay? Yeah. Okay. Come in. When I said I hope you die, I, I didn't mean it. I know. She won't come back again until you stop. I'm trying, Alex. I'm trying. Come here. It's okay.
Amen. Your mother didn't leave because of you. She left because of me, and for good reason. I was never there for her. And I haven't been there for you. Dad. I'm still not getting anywhere with these logarithms. Guess I better show you how it's done then, huh? Contest. I guess that's a plus. And your mom's boyfriend, is he in jail? 30 days. And she is thinking about breaking up with him. Here, I brought this for you. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. It's way too nice for Rebecca, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, she gets all the glory anyway. No, oh, she's gonna need it. What do you mean? Everything that makes her life beautiful. It's all happening now. But for you and me, our time is coming. Thank you.